between the beginning of March and the middle of April, in the University Hospital of Parma, I was in charge of a ward treating COVID patients, severe COVID patients. In our section, there were 34 patients and uh, I had the chance to evaluate um, the level of uh, vitamin D in most of them. Probably over 40 people were measured. And the uh, uh, mean level of vitamin D I found was uh, approximately 40 nanogram per, ml, per milliliter, which is equivalent to 35 nanomole per liter. These data are accord, in accord with uh, uh, what found in the literature in this patient. And only those who were taking vitamin D before the infection had the level uh, uh, close to normality. The supplementation of vitamin D I think it's an easy and cheap measure that can be done for any patient. Uh, most of them, the very serious one, had several comorbidities such as obesity or diabetes. In this patient, especially in obese, it is well known that vitamin D per se is very low. So uh, the point of uh, giving vitamin D to these people to reach quickly a normal level, I think is very important. Many people are trying to find the silver bullet against the COVID, but I don't think at the moment anyone has uh, uh, the magic pill. So any treatment that can be helpful for patients affected by COVID virus is, I think, welcome. And uh, giving vitamin D in a quite fast fashion, uh, let's say giving bolus of uh, even 100,000 units per day for three, four or five days can help them to reach normal level. So uh, I suggest to give vitamin D and then to measure after one or two weeks the level and then following the patient and give the normal amount to keep vitamin D at uh, his normal level. And when I'm talking about vitamin D, I'm talking about, obviously, cholecalciferol.